Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Friday again and we're going to make another recipe. Today I'm going to show you protein wraps. So if you have some egg white in your fridge that you don't know what to do with, this is an excellent use for those egg whites. So we'll be back in a minute and then we'll show you the recipe. Okay guys, I've got my non-stick pan here with a little bit of oil in there and it's on a medium to low heat. And then I've got some egg white here. You need roughly one large egg white per wrap, but you can use a little bit more. So I'm going to just pour it in the pan and make sure the whole pan is covered and it's not too, too, too thin because if they are extremely thin, they're very, very fragile to handle. So make sure that you don't see the pan anywhere. Everything is nicely covered. So we're going to leave this for about a minute now to cook and then we're going to try to turn it over. It takes a little bit of practice to do these guys, but once you've got them just right, you'll love them and you'll use them a lot. I like using them on my protein days because um, they are full of protein, obviously, and you can fill them with any kind of filling you like. You can put some chicken mayonnaise in them and have them cold. You can put some seafood filling in it with some tomato sauce. You can do some savory mince. You could just do some wilted spinach, if you like, on your veggie day, or some nice marinated mushrooms. So you'll see that is getting there a bit. There's two little spots here. It's not quite cooked. Always spread them out a bit. There we go. That's nearly ready. You'll see it's coming loose from the sides here. And then you know that's nearly ready. So I'm trying to cook them that they don't have too much color on them. So make sure the heat is not too high. So I'm just testing it to see if it's loose. Give it a little shake. And now I'm going to use two wooden spatulas. Sometimes it sticks a bit. There we go. It might take a little practice. But once you've turned it, it doesn't need a lot of cooking. Just a minute. So that one is nearly ready. And then I'm just going to put them on a plate to cool off and then we're going to do our filling. They do tend to stick a little bit so There we go. So this one is ready. So I'm just going to put that on the plate. There we go. So I'm going to make another four or five of these and then we will show you the filling. Okay guys, so I've got these um, wraps ready here now. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So that will be ideal for my husband and I and our little daughter. So we'll each have two and my daughter will have one. Then at the back here, I've got two cups of milk and I'm just bringing that to the boil. It's um, almost there. And then I've got my nonstick pan here with two teaspoons of oil. And I'm just going to turn the heat up here to get that nice and hot. And then for our filling here today, I've got some beef steak here, just in very, very thin strips. And then I've got some sliced onions over here and some marinated mushrooms. Now, if you're looking for a nice marinade recipe, you can just look on my channel. There is one video dedicated to marinades. So you can have a look there. And then I've got in the bowl here, I've got four level tablespoons of corn flour dissolved in a quarter cup of water. So that will be for our bechamel sauce. So we're going to, we can come here now. So you want that milk to be really, really hot. And I'm just literally going to pour the corn flour in. 
and you just whisk it up a little bit we'll keep an eye on that and give it a stir now and then but first I'm now going to put our onions in so take a nice couple of handfuls depending on on how many portions you're doing if it's a protein day you'll just use a tiny bit of onion or no onion at all on your veggie day you can be more generous I've got about two onions in here two small onions just come back to our bechamel you'll see it's starting to thicken up now And with your doing your sauce with the corn flour, it only takes about five minutes to cook through, whereas regular flour takes a bit longer. You can season it. I'm putting a bit of salt in, a little bit of pepper. You can put some other herbs and spices. I like a bit of nutmeg, a tiny, tiny pinch of nutmeg, not too much nutmeg. Let's give it a little stir there. And that's thickening up nicely now. We'll come back to our onions. There we go, a little bit of color on them. So this is going to be our filling today. So just a bit of beef, a bit of mushrooms and onions. And we're going to pour the sauce on top. And then later on, we will put that in the oven to bake. So it's a really lovely recipe. I'm just giving these guys a bit of color. So now I'm going to just remove the onions and put them aside. There we go. See? And we'll keep the heat high of this pan and we're going to just cook the steak. I don't overcook the steak so I'm going to just cook it very lightly. You want the pan nice and hot. And I'm just aiming for maybe medium for the steak, especially if it goes in the oven later on. You can use as much or as little steak as you like. I've not measured this out. See our sauce is now bubbling very nicely and it's nice and thick. So I'm just going to turn that down to its lowest and soon that will actually be ready. I guess our beef. See the juices coming out of there now. So there we go. So that's just kind of half cooked now. I'm going to just add our onions back in here. There we go. And I'm going to add some mushrooms now. So our marinated mushrooms. I think we can add them all. So at this point, if you wanted to add some more spices, you can of course do that. In my marinade, I've got soy sauce, I've got garlic, I've got some little bit of vinegar. I'm just going to turn this up a little bit just to heat that through nicely. And now to give it a bit of a barbecue flavor, I've got some sugar-free barbecue sauce. I'm just going to put a tiny amount in there to give it a little bit of smokiness and sweetness. So just about a tablespoon, maybe two. And then just to make sure that the mixture is not dry, I'm going to add a little bit of cream cheese here. 
there's a light cream cheese just going to put a spoonful in there two level tablespoons making two portions so that should be fine so I'm just literally stirring the cream cheese in there to melt Oh, it smells good. So there we go. So all the meat is coated in a little bit of sauce. There we go. So our filling is ready. Our little wraps are ready. And our sauce is ready as well. And in a minute I'll just show you how to assemble these. Okay guys, I've just got a little bit of um, fresh coriander here. I'm just going to sprinkle that on because I don't like to cook it too long. So there we go. And now I will show you I'm going to take one wrap, there we are, and we're going to just put some filling on it. So the filling is still quite hot. You can of course leave it a little while to cool off a bit. So do not overfill your wraps because then it's difficult to fold them and roll them. So I leave one third of the wrap without filling. So you fill start rolling it a bit and then you fold in your sides just like you would do if you were making a sandwich wrap and you keep rolling and that's nice and full and i'm going to just put it straight in my dish that's going to go in the oven so there is number one we'll do another one and i will finish all this filling and wraps and then you will see what we're going to do after that. Okay, welcome back guys. So I'm just filling the last wrap here, trying to squeeze the last little bit of filling in here. We'll see how it goes. Might be a bit too much, we'll see. There we are, let's push it down a bit. Let's see, we'll just tuck that in. Oops, and now I'm just going to squeeze that one on the side here so the dish is nice and full. And now we have our sauce, obviously, that we made earlier on. So when you use two cups of milk, um, you'll have a bit of extra sauce left. So it's handy to have it in the fridge. You can have it with your veggies or fish, anything you like. So I'm just literally going to maybe use half of it or even less. I'm just coating our wraps here. A thin layer. It's nice to have this um, sauce as well if you're thinking about a lasagna or some pasta dish. So here we are. So just literally coating our wraps. Doesn't have to be a lot. And then I've got a bit of grated fat-free cheese here, so it's um, a white cheese, so it won't burn. So just a tiny bit, um, you're allowed a couple of tablespoons if it's fat-free. And when you grate it really fine, it does go a long way. There we go. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of spices on top. You don't have to. A bit of paprika is nice. These are just a little bit of steak spices. There we go. So this is ready now. You can literally put this in the oven right now at 180 degrees for about half an hour to 40 minutes. Because this is all nice and warm, the pancake, the filling, the sauce, but if you're going to leave this now on the kitchen counter for a couple of hours, you might need another five or 10 minutes extra in the oven. And you could literally have this ready in the fridge 
take it out the next day, leave it at room temperature for an hour and then put it in the oven. So it's a handy dish to have ready, especially if you've got a busy day planned for the next day. Okay guys, this has just come out the oven now. It's been in there for 25 minutes at 180. And it's nice and hot now. So let me show you. So I've got four this way and one this way. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut in the middle here. And then we're going to just put them on a plate. prepared a couple of plates here just with some lettuce so there we go there we go guys so I've got some cucumber here put a bit of cucumber on The tomatoes. A little bit of parsley if you want. And that's everything, guys. So your protein wraps filled with beef and mushrooms. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give us a like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll be back early next week with another video. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.